Welcome to 2014. So this year in our Western, we are in the year of a seven. So this is global, cosmic, universal energy. Everybody, the whole world, is cycling through the energy of a seven. Now what does that mean? Seven is a very spiritual number, right? We have like the seven rays of light, the seven chakras, all of that. So when we're in the energy of a seven, that's a lot of time for introspection, for reflection, for pursuits of a in more intellectual manner. So for everyone, to ask the bigger, deeper questions of life. A lot of existential questions. Who am I? Where am I going? What are my attributes, my strengths? What can I do to be a better person? How can I use my own innate talents and abilities to help the greater good of humanity? In the seven year, we really look at our connectivity. Seven correlates to the crown chakra. Crown being our connection at the top of our head um, to greater powers, things larger than ourselves. Whether you want to call this God, infinite intelligence, um, the source energy, doesn't matter. So knowing that we are all connected to one being, all from one place, um, and where is your individuality in alignment with the greater good or the cosmic energies of the universe, okay? So that's what a seven is saying. In our feng shui, um, which is the, according, this is right here, this is the bagua for this year, okay? Bagua means eight squares. Um, there's really nine, I'm not Chinese. Um, <laughs> four is cycling into the center this year, and this is where all the numbers fall this year. So. Four is about rapid growth, okay? Um, four is a year where things happen very, very, very fast. They cycle very, very fast. You put something out there into the universe that will come back to you immediately. Be careful what you think, right? This year really calls into action the law of attraction. So if you are thinking positive thought, oh, it's gonna be so lovely. If you are thinking negative thought, uh-oh, <laughs> you might wanna adjust your thought process, okay? Because again, as we know, thoughts become things. Rapid growth is also saying that we've been a little bit stagnant in the world the last couple of years. We've had a lot of ups and downs, fluctuations, changes, big disasters, whether that's on a political scale, economic scale, social scale, all of that. So this year is going to be one of those times where things are finally going to get a little bit more stable for everybody, but they're also going to happen very fast at the same time. So as we know, like, Hello, just even our own country, we've had like the whole Obamacare, the whole thing has come up for everybody. So changes within that, rapid growth within that, um, more st stability, but not stability, it makes sense. So this is the year where we think things are okay, but they're not always perfect. Does that make sense to you? Moving into the Chinese animal of this year, we're in the year of the wood horse. So this is great. We're cycling finally out of the water element. Last last two years we were in the water snake, we were in the water dragon, blah, 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 blah. Now we're out of the water element, moving into wood. Water is wonderful. It helps you to get more introspective. It helps things be more slow. It helps you to be more spiritual. And water is a very, like, maybe energy. It says, like, there's a possibility. It might happen. But wood is the opposite. Wood is the, we say, the child of water. Wood grows out of water. So what happens here is, is that wood is about action. Wood is about doing. This is finally a time that we can get shit done, okay? Which is also indicative of the rapid growth and also bringing into question who we are within this world. Very cool energy for this year. Horses are about goals. So if you want to think about um, what a horse would be back in the day before we had transportation of cars and automobiles and whatnot, horses got you to where you wanted to go. So that is what this year is all about. It's about getting on your horse, saddling up, figuring out where you want to be headed to, right? Be very, very intentional about where you want to go. And the energy this year will actually get you there. So if you have goals, the main recommendation is to dream big. Right? Because we have so much energy behind us this year to actually accomplish those things. So dream big. Don't hold back. Don't be afraid to ask for what you want. Actually set your intention on it and then literally get on your horse and go for a ride. Um, horses are, two, are one of the two very auspicious energies uh, that the Chinese have. The first being the dragon, which I'm a dog, so... And um, <laughs> the second being a horse. So I'm really excited this year. <laughs> Horses are very auspicious for a couple of reasons. They're really great with relationships. They help people who are seeking to be in a relationship, wink, wink, um, to actually go out there and 
have the opportunity to meet somebody else. It's a more of a sexual energy to it. It's more of a passionate energy to it. Horses are also very social, so socially things should be lightening up for you. More opportunities to go out there, meet people, network, get to know your neighbors, um, possibly open up a new opportunity to meet friends, that as well, okay? Um, financially, it should be pretty good too. So all in all, we're looking at cosmically one of the best years we've had in a long time. So goodbye, water snake. Have fun. <laughs> See you later. On the 31st. <laughs> so we're still in the water snake. Woo, woo, wah, wah. <laughs> so um, until January 31st. That's when the, the, new, the lunar new year <coughs> happens, okay? So that's when, um, if you are into feng shui or you do have things set up for yourself, that's when you're going to want to have your weapons changed out. At, at this time. So as we know, we spent all this energy of last year shedding, letting go, releasing of the past, looking at all of our crap that was holding us back and keeping us stagnant and stuck. And now we come out like this beautiful snake and we're ready to go, right? But if you think about it, we're really exposed and we're really vulnerable, all right? So being exposed and being vulnerable isn't such a bad thing. Just make sure you're extra grounded in what it is that you want to do with your life and where you want to go because the horse will take you anywhere all right so it's important you know where you want your horse to go <laughs> the motto for this year if you were looking for an affirmation or something to kind of focus on or get a tattoo i'm kidding it would be i run free <laughs> cross your back in chinese <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> i run free so horses are all about freedom all about individuality it's about expressing yourself and about really um not holding back in all areas of your life all right, and a lot of times we need to free ourselves from who? Ourselves, right? Because we are our own worst enemy and blah, blah, blah. This year is going to be an especially auspicious year for horses. Yay, yay. Um, tigers, any tigers in the room? Grr, no? Okay. And also dogs, can I get a what, what? I know there's like lots of dogs in the room, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> okay, um, challenging. This year is very challenging for the rat. Okay, so, um, yeah, me. I know, and we know, I know about you. Yeah. <laughs> and when I did your numbers, I was like, that makes so much sense. I was like, poor Elena. <laughs> okay, no. Now, that doesn't mean that that is going to be a bad year for you. I really want to define what's good and what's bad, okay? Um, good means that you have things that are bad are just not as affecting you. Like, you're more like, oh, yeah, that happened, but I'm going to get over it pretty quickly. It's like, things are not as hard for you to do. When you're in a more challenging year, um, it's like your stuff comes up to the surface a lot more, you're being faced with your shit uh, like on a daily basis, and you can't really run and hide from yourself. So the way that you can move through what we call a challenging year is to embrace change, okay? To have major acceptance over what's going on in your life and knowing it is what it is. That's one of the easiest and hardest um, phrases to, to live by. It is what it is. Um, and knowing that taking every opportunity as um, a way to learn, a way to grow, to make yourself better, to be the best version of yourself, to get over your shit from the past. Because the past usually equals pain. We have those memories, all that type of stuff. And when you're in a challenging year, that's what comes up for you, is stuff from the past, stuff that you're still holding on to that doesn't work for you anymore. So it's give, allowing you the opportunity to, to get triggered and to face that on a more regular basis so you can move forward into a better time. So I'll give you an example. I was a dog, and or I am a dog, and in 2012 it was a year of a dragon, and dogs and dragons are mortal enemies. And 2012, for any, I know, ha ha, because um, I think you're a dragon, right? Yeah. 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 So I challenge you, whenever you come. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, so whenever um, I was in that year of the dragon, it was just, it was intense. It was just a very intense year. I made it through all right, and actually on the, on the other end of it, I was like, phew, thank God that's over with. But it, I became a much stronger person, a much more grounded person. And I, that's the year I grew up, really, I would say. Like, I was growing up before, but when I was in my, my dragon year, I was like, let's do this. So, you're going to be fine. I promise.